Hello, my name is Philip Korzak. I'm a product manager with Vatterstad. Today I'm just going to go over a few tips and tricks on the bottom of the Seedhawk metering uh, system to make sure that you uh, check over before you head to the field this spring. Uh, one of the very first things you're going to want to look at is your agitator shaft. If this isn't your first year in the field with it, it's your second year, uh, chances are that that could potentially have seized on you. Uh, the first thing that you would try to do is put a crescent wrench on this size because it's a nice uh, it's a nice spot for a crescent wrench but if you do that with the motor not engaged there's actually a very small key stock on the other side connected to the agitator motor and you'll break that key stock if you break the key stock you have to replace the motor it is not a replaceable part so just uh, just make sure you're checking this when you go to the field on all tanks first in the year Second thing you want to make sure that you do is your bulk shutoff door. Make sure that your bulk shutoff door is in the open position and make sure it's all the way open. If it's not all the way open, you may not be getting the proper flow of product coming out of the bottom of the tank. The third thing is with your product selection. So you need to make sure that you know which tank is dropping into which sets of air runs. This tells you in the iPad, but it's a good idea to make sure that you know if this is a fertilizer tank, you're dropping it into the fertilizer runs or vice versa with seed into the seed runs. Last but not least, it's a good thing to pull your motors out, at least one motor, and make sure that you have the roller uh, inserted in the tank that you need for the product that you're putting down on the ground. Follow these quick steps and you'll get uh, yourself off to a, a good success early on.